Hi everyone, this is Tajay, and this video is part of a series by Team Singapore aimed at younger debaters. Today we'll be discussing a slightly thorny topic, fiat. Essentially, it's not part of the debate, in the sense that it is not part of the arguments or rebuttals you'll run, but it's more part of the rules or the frame within which the debate takes place. So what is fiat? Fiat basically refers to the ability of the teams to effect change in the real world. As a starting point, we give fiat to the proposition team to assume that their policy will be implemented in the way that they describe. For instance, if proposition is suggesting a ban on smoking, the opposition cannot argue that this measure would never pass in parliament or that it will be implemented in a meaningless way. Proposition has the latitude to dictate that this policy will be passed and how it will be passed, although of course opposition can criticize the costs and benefits of such implementation. This is usually more valuable when we apply it to opposition teams. Generally, we assume that the amount of fiat that the two sides have is the same, which means that opposition can propose a counter policy that will require a similar amount of effort and influence as propositions. For instance, in the example of the ban on smoking, it would be fair for opposition to claim that they can heavily regulate smoking instead, since this would likely involve a similar amount of effort and financial resources as propositions ban. Proposition, therefore, should not attack opposition's ability to implement this counter policy, although of course it can criticize it on the grounds of efficacy, higher costs, and so on. Of course, these are very simplified examples, and this can get a lot messier when it comes to more complex motions and more complex debates. For instance, if a motion asks proposition to close all religious schools, does the proposition have fiat to claim that communities will set up secular schools instead? This is a bit unclear, since it's quite far beyond the bounds of the motion itself. Also consider what opposition's fiat would be in that case. You can see how this debate potentially becomes very messy as a result. Our larger point here is that fiat is very subjective. In complex motions, judges may have different conceptions of what is and is not viable fiat for each side to claim. Our advice, therefore, is not to rely on fiat if there are other ways to prove a point. Try and think of reasons why something might happen, rather than just claiming it through fiat. If you can do so, that's a much more robust way to begin the debate, and a much more viable strategy in that debate. So in summary, don't be afraid to use fiat if you're an opposition team, but equally, try to avoid relying only on fiat to prove everything in your case. Thank you, and I hope that was a useful introduction to the concept of fiat.